Hello my friends, welcome to another Lissa video. Today's video is a what I ate in a day and I start my morning with lime water and I added mint to that one. Then I proceeded to peel my papaya. I had this delicious ripe papaya ready to go. I peeled it and then chopped it in half. scooped out all those seeds. Now you can save the seeds if you want. You could wash them and dry them and put them into a pepper grinder if you wanted. You can add those to your salad. They have a little bit of a peppery taste. And then I enjoyed my breakfast, my giant papaya. It was so good. Then, as a snack between breakfast and lunch, I had two bananas and two mangoes. I got all of these amazing heirloom tomatoes at the Strathcona Farmer's Market in Edmonton. I can get a case of those tomatoes for $30, 20 pounds, and they are absolutely amazing. So I had this huge haul of tomatoes, so I decided to make a Greek salad. The dressing is in the description below. It's a creamy Greek. We've got some tahini, some dates, oregano, garlic, and lemon juice, a little apple cider vinegar, Pour a little water in there and blend. If you find the dressing a little thick, you're always welcome to add more water to get it to the desired consistency. We have all of our Greek salad ingredients chopped up, some romaine lettuce, some cucumbers, all those delicious tomatoes, and some red onion. Topped it with a little bit of paprika and dried oregano. This is such a refreshing, hydrating, beautiful Greek salad, and I enjoy these quite often for lunch, sometimes without the tahini um, to make it low fat, but I wanted to have a creamy Greek today, so that's what I did. Then for dinner, I had been marinating these mushrooms, broccoli, and red onions in the dehydrator. I spiralized three long English cucumbers and then I made a tomato sauce to mix with the dehydrated vegetables. Mixed that together. Now the reason there is a little bit of steam going on in this bowl is because I let the sauce um, blend for about two minutes in the Vitamix at which point it does warm up a little bit and it has a little bit of steam. So here are my noodles and my chunky mushroom marinara sauce with broccoli added. You can find this recipe in my dips and dressings book. You're more than welcome to head over to my website and grab a copy of that if you like. You can also find the recipe to this on my YouTube channel. I did film one with Nate. It's a spaghetti recipe video. So here we go. Today I had over 2,600 calories of goodness. I entered everything into chronometer to the best that I could. And this is again just a rough estimate. It's not exactly how much I had probably. I mean all fruits and vegetables are going to have different ratios of nutrients and calories depending on when they were harvested, how ripe they are. There's a lot of factors that come into play, but chronometer is a really great tool to use to get to know what your nutrition is and how much you need to get everything that you need. So today with the vitamin D supplement and a B12 supplement, I hit 100% of my nutrition goals. Everything looks great. Look at the calcium, well over 1200. <laughs> um, iron looking great. All the minerals looking absolutely awesome. I did get enough selenium this day. Um, I got over 100 grams of fiber and my fats, my omega-3s are there. Everything looks absolutely epic. Protein, 63 grams. Now I wanted to check um, to see where I got my selenium. So you can tap on the name selenium and check out where your top sources are. So mushrooms, tahini, great sources. And then I also wanted to check my protein and see how we got 63 grams. 
tomatoes, cucumbers, lettuce. There's protein in all plant foods. Just a ma matters how many you eat. <laughs> And then I wanted to also check my vitamin E because that tends to be um, one that people are concerned about, it seems. Um, but my tomatoes and everything else seems to add up just perfectly fine. So if you like this video, you guys, please click like and subscribe to my channel to get notifications for more. You can find all of my raw vegan recipes at payhip.com slash raw food romance. The link is in the description below. I also have printed versions on Amazon. You're more than welcome to head over there and check those out. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at raw food romance. On Facebook, Lissa's raw food romance. And on Snapchat, Lissa raw vegan. Until the next video, guys. Enjoy lots of fresh, hydrating fruits and vegetables and fruit on.